So let's talk about what these firms look like in general for um, imperfect competition. Basically, it means that we lack sellers um, in the market, uh, largely because there are some sort of restrictions. Um, and this takes basically two forms. Oligopolies, which is usually anywhere from five to eight firms, and then monopolistic competition, where there are many more firms where there are many more firms, but not too many. Um, and by that I mean um, many of them may sell a similar product, but there are, there are some unique features of each firm selling the product as well. Um, and what this translates into is that in each case, the prices will be slightly higher than perfect competition. And the quantities will be lower than perfect competition. Oligopolies charging the highest prices and producing the lowest amount collectively versus monopolistically competitive, which is a little bit more competitive, as the term implies.